Hello and welcome to this open topography demo. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to read point cloud files in LAS format into MATLAB. I'm going to use MATLAB's file exchange tool, Last Data. And the strength of this particular function is that it can work well in new as well as older versions of MATLAB. So this is the MATLAB script that I'm going to be using for today's demo. You can find it on Open Topography's GitHub page in the link provided in the comments. And today for this demo, I'm going to be showing uh, how to open a LAS point cloud data set from Utah in Salt Lake City. In particular, you can generate that data set here or you can get any other point cloud data set in LAS format. Let's look at open topography. So here is the data page for the data set that I'm going to use for this demo. You can get similar data set from going to data here on open topography and then selecting any of our point cloud data sets. And in particular, so one setting that's important for this demo, our default for point cloud data download is this LAS or LAZ compressed file format. But for today's demo, it's really important that you download the point cloud in LAS format. So you can run an open topography job and then download the point cloud in LAS format, and then join the rest of the demo. And we're going to be using the MATLAB file exchange LAS data, and that's shown here. So you can download this function and then load it into um, a MATLAB accessible folder. So here we are back in the MATLAB script generated a and saved a LAS point cloud file. And we've downloaded LAS data from the MATLAB file exchange. And the link for that is provided here. That MATLAB file exchange folder or data set comes in a folder called LAS data. You can go in it and you see you have that LAS data.m or that's the function LAS data function also have a text file on the license information for that function. So the first thing I want to do in my script is add a path so that MATLAB will know where to find this LAS data function. And that's done right here. The next thing I do is tell MATLAB how to find my point cloud data. So I renamed the point cloud data set that I downloaded from Open Topography Utah State Capital. And it's generally good practice to rename your point cloud files, something so that you can easily find them in the future. And so I call that LAS data. Then run that line. And then in line 16, I read in this LAS data set using LAS data and call the output point cloud. So we can now learn about that point cloud data set that we just loaded. First thing to do is to say who's point cloud. That tells me that I've loaded in a data set, it's called point cloud, and it has a MATLAB class of LAS data. You can learn more about this data set by typing in point cloud. And here I can see that it follows a MATLAB structure format where it has properties X, Y, and Z. And each of these X, Y, Z has about two and a half million points. Let's zoom down and see the information that is sometimes included in a point cloud 
data sets, but based on the original point cloud information and then how I loaded it in MATLAB, all most of these other um, data sets are empty. The next thing to do is to then extract the X, Y, and Z coordinate information from this MATLAB structure. You can do that in this set of codes where I do point cloud dot X, point cloud dot Y, point cloud dot Z, and that will let me extract the X, Y, and Z coordinate information from this MATLAB structure data type. And then the final thing that I typically like to do is to plot the point cloud data that I loaded in and just check that it looks like as I expect. So I do that in this uh, code here using the MATLAB function scatter. I note that in this case, even just looking at the few buildings of the Utah State Capitol, I'm plotting only one in every 10 points. Often if I load a larger point cloud data set, say 20 or 100 million points, in those cases, I might just plot every hundred or every thousandth point. And this still lets me quickly see and confirm that I've loaded in the data set as I've expected. So let's plot that. You can already see there, just a few million points. It did take MATLAB several seconds to load in and display the data. So here's the data set. See that as I labeled, we have east and uh, y coordinates in units of meters in UTM. And then here is the point cloud colored by elevation. See that the uh, elevation in this area is about 1400 meters. And so again, at this step, it's just important to confirm that the coordinates and elevation and appearance of the area, in this case, the buildings, is about what you would expect. So thank you. That concludes our demo on how to read LES point cloud data into MATLAB.